welcome to the shop. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to make a uh, Form 1 suppressor. Actually, for any suppressor, I guess. Whether it's a Form 1 or manufactured. But this is a, an M baffle. And uh, I'll show you how that was machined. But it's overall one inch long. Got a 60 degree cone in the back, 60 degree cone in the front. And uh, well, I haven't made one like this, um, a suppressor with these kind of baffles. Uh, certainly looks promising. It's not hard to make. This was just a mock up made out of aluminum, uh, inch and a half in diameter. I think I put a 360 bore through the middle of it, which would work for. 30 caliber. I might want to open it up a little bit more to form one. But uh, at any rate, here we go. I'll show you how it's done. Yeah, I wanted to mention one other thing. Uh, uh, my subscriber list is going up pretty quick. Uh, please hit the subscribe button. I release uh, new videos just about every week on something that I'm working on, whether it's firearms related or or just machine or tooling. Uh, but anyhow, if you subscribe, then you won't miss, uh, you'll be notified when new content comes out. We'll have to search for it. But I hit the subscribe button and when I uh, get to 500 subscribers, I'm giving away some tools. Got an antique micrometer. And uh, I'll probably give away a few other things that I've got around here as well. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, comment, give me some feedback. I'm just a hobbyist. So uh, let me know. Thank you. All right, this is going to be a video on how to machine a suppressor M baffle. Uh, just going to be turning it out of aluminum. Got a piece of stock dialed in here within a, a thousandths, which is good enough for what we're doing. So we'll uh, start machining an M baffle. All right, this uh, M baffle is going to be approximately one inch long, inch and a half in diameter. Uh, it's just going to be a sample here, so I'm going to turn down about a quarter of an inch. Start the cone part of it. <laughs> steel bit and uh, we can give that a try. <laughs>
whenever you have a mishap like that, it will tend to knock your stock out around and uh, should be able to just adjust it back in the uh, in the four jaw chuck, showing 9,000 to run out. All right, let's see what we can do now. Reset the DRO. Necessity is the mother of invention. I'm using a uh, center drill. It's got a nice uh, high speed steel point on it. Let's see if we can get that done with that. Just need to go a little bit more.
the way we need it. Got it deep enough, and we're going to part it off. Part it off, then we'll spin it around in the lathe and hollow out the other side of it.
enough room to get a boring bar started in there, which is the best way to do this. So. technique took a little bit of learning I, I filmed it as I made the first one had to grind a couple of tools to do the trepanning part to get in there and countersink this is down a little bit more than a quarter of inch down recessed in there and more material could have been hogged out of there but I don't want to take the chance of getting into the cone too bad but you could definitely relieve it some more but this gives you the basic idea on how to do this